This is why we have science at last. The age-old argument about the best way to stack the dishwasher has been settled. Consumer group Choice has spent years in the lab testing all of the options and our mate Mike Dalton has the re results. Have a look. Deep within the bounds of consumer watchdog choice, four years of study has been thrown at one of the Burb's great conundrums. The best way to pack a dishwasher. And the first shocking truth is that the national test standard as designated by the Swiss-based International Electrotechnical Commission next door to the Pons Institute is hugely flawed, as Matthew Steen of Choice reveals. So the Australian standard really doesn't reflect Australian standards in the sense we're chucking in the big tins like this, big dishes like this, where the Australian standard still sounds like they wear, you know, drinking teacups and saucers with a finger up. Hey, look, it's served us well for a long time. It's but not now, Matthew, not now. It's time to change. That change is from 132 pieces, the full kit of a five-person setting, to 82. But including the big pots and pans, and sometimes Duplo, we now chuck in. But there is evidence that some don't deserve a dishwasher at all. We would like to advise that some viewers may find the following dirty and disturbing. Choices Research has revealed the rampant dishwasher abuse of shadowing. Vision not suitable for breakfast television. Shadowing is when one is covering it like this. So often this will happen with things like bowls. Shadowing, disgusting. The standard of testing is rigorous. Egg yolk and farrix on dinner plates. Rock so hard that stuff when you're after a baby food. Yep, and we leave them for 18 hours before we wash them, so. Dried spinach. So it'll get recycled through the filter. Right. And the filter. Pop back on the plates. Exactly. So we call that redeposition. Redeposition? Redeposition. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and steamed oats. So basically that's like a dried porridge at the bottom of a bowl. Yep, basically. It'd probably be one tougher than that, mate. Probably, yep. Wheat mix. Dried wheat mix. Possum ball. Along with juice-stained glasses. I notice you're using sort of elongated beakers here. That's right, it's because they're the easiest to use. Truly test conditions, Matthew. Yes. And tannin-stained teacups and mugs. It was time to test my dishwasher packing abilities, which I rate quite highly myself, as my wife will attest. What's the problem? It's a bit of touching there. This meets the criteria? It's pretty good. But even I, the pack master, was left with one bowl in hand. I feel like I failed. <laughs> you haven't failed. Yes, I have. You're repositioning my work. It's not failure. It's just practice. Thank you, Sensei. <laughs> but Matthew had a slide card up his sleeve. Cheap notes. That's how we keep things consistent. Oh, consistent. That's your term for it, is it? Consistency. I call it cheating. Could I possibly get a ranking here out of 100, please, Matthew? At least 80. And, and compared... compared. Very good. Oh. That's very good. <laughs> there are two types of people in the world. People who can stash, stack dish, dishwashers <laughs> and people who can speak. Oh. <laughs>